Hey guys, it's Nick from Simplify ERP. In this new chapter of guides, I'll show you an easy way of managing a checklist and creating and managing an auto-based website. Let's jump in straight to the tutorial. Okay, here on mailings, let's create a new mailing newsletter. So click on create. Here, let's give it a subject. Let's do a test subject 2021. So I can differentiate this from the others. I'm gonna add the same to the other one. Here at the recipients, I don't want our customers to receive random newsletters from this tutorial video. We don't want to spam someone. So I'll target my colleagues. I'm sure they won't mind. So I'll target mailing list equals employees. I'm gonna choose that one. It says it has 11 employees that are gonna receive this. Few of the internal employees that we have. So this is a template area. Let's choose the template. I like this one. So I'm gonna choose that one. And I like how it looks, so I won't change anything. So you can customize templates fully, by the way, by your preference through this editor. You can add logos, your own text, footer with the editor on the right side, have this full screen or not, depends on your preference. From here, dynamic placeholder generator. This is a really cool feature. You can generate first names on the newsletter or anything that you want. This is the tech part, but it is not hard at all. You can just choose what to generate and it will give you the code for it, where you can just put it in the mail. Let's generate, for example, company name, let's say. This is the field that you copy and you can add to the body. So, hi there, and this is it. This is gonna pick up the company name, which I'm gonna send to the contacts. From settings, you choose who to send the mail from, which mail service to use, the name, company name, mailing campaign, which should it go, basically everything within your campaign or newsletter that you're sending out. So that's it. Let's just save this and schedule it out or just send it out right now. So I'm gonna just save this. I'm gonna schedule it for today. 5.30 let's say. Easy work done. Has your business outgrown the standard Shopify functionality and you're having to load up your shop with lots of apps? Then it is time to think about centralizing your business in Odoo and using Shopify as a sales front-end. And remember, our team is based in Eastern Europe and we offer consulting and support in English and German. Don't forget, check out our YouTube and Vimeo channels. We post every single day from Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. Much valuable content pieces are being uploaded. Of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave like on the videos that helped you work around your way around the problems you might have faced using Odoo. For more tutorials and guides, Make sure to check out our websites at simplify-erp.com and simplify-erp.de. Also, check out our pages on social media under simplify-erp, including LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you for watching. See you again in another video.